Today we're going to take a look at the Dexter 95 inch long 5200 pound trailer axle beam with the Easy Lube spindles. Now this axle beam will act as part of your trailer suspension system, replaces an axle on your trailer, and you can fabricate a suspension to fit your application. This is a high strain steel construction. The axle tubing diameter on this is three inches. And this axle is an underslung design. And by that, I mean the spring seats here that your leaf springs mount to, they're welded to the underside of the axle and they give you a nice low ride height, which makes it easier to load and unload your trailer. The spring seats, the spindles, and the brake flanges are all welded on. You can see the brake flange is a five bolt brake flange design. Now you might notice the bend right here in the center of the axle. This is what will ensure the proper camber angle. When you install this axle, that bend should face up and the label right here should face the rear of the tra trailer. Now if that label happens to be missing, you can just look at where these electric wires are for the electric brakes, and they should also face the rear of the trailer. These electric brake wires are included in the axle because if you're installing electric brakes to the axle, they'll already be ready to go. Now having the center right here right a bit higher and the sides of the axle bent lower, it allows the axle to give just enough to compensate for the load that's on the trailer. This bend will create a nice zero camber angle for even road to tread contact across the width of your trailer's tires and ensures the angle of the wheels is correct for your towing needs. So the result is an excellent straight line acceleration for steady controlled towing. The spindles we mentioned, they are a straight easy lube spindle. You can see there's no drop to them. And when I say easy lube, what's nice about these is they have the built-in grease zerk fittings on the end of the spindle for attaching your grease gun to and, and then just pumping grease in makes a very simple lubrication of your bearings without having to disassemble the whole hub. Normally when you grease your bearings, you'll have to take the whole hub off, take your bearings out, grease them, put them all back in, slide it back on here. With this one, with your hub and drub already installed in here with your bearings, all you have to do is put your grease gun in there, pump the grease in there, and it's all ready to go. Very simple to do. Now this does include the castle nuts, the de-washers, the retaining washers. The bearings that go on this are sold separately. This part is made in the USA. The weight capacity again is 5,200 pounds. And there's two critical measurements when you're buying an axle. You want to make sure the hub face to hub face length is what you pay attention to. And on that you measure is when your hubs are mounted on here. The hub face would be right where the wheel studs are. So you'll measure from that all the way to that hub face on that side. And on this one it'll measure 95 inches with the hubs installed. And the other critical measurement is spring center to spring center length. That'll be measured from the center of this spring seat to the center of that spring seat over there. On this one, it'll measure 80 inches, which is usually your trailer width also. And the last thing I wanted to show you is when we go to ship these, we don't ship them with the spindles exposed like this. What we do is we'll first put a coating of grease on it to protect it from corrosion. And then we have these large rubber, real thick rubber boots that you can, we just slide on over there. And that'll protect them, and then we wrap it on this end, same on that end. So when they're shipped, they're protected from any damage or scratches or corrosion, anything like that. But that should do it for the review on the Dexter 95-inch long, 5,200-pound trailer axle beam with the Easy Lube spindles.